Oh, and good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful Thursday morning. We are almost to Friday, the best day of the week, in my opinion. So it is going to be an awesome, awesome day. And today's topic is so much fun. It is the meat and potatoes of everything that we are going to learn this week. And it is the most transformative tool that you're going to learn this week. So it's going to be super amazing, super awesome. Turn your ears on and get ready to listen. So today's topic is called the rapid manifestation method. And I am going to be sharing with you exactly what I use to really just dig out all of those negative thoughts. So if you guys are jumping on, hi, Samantha, nice to see you again. So excited that you've been here every day. It's awesome to see you. So I am, uh, let me just do a quick introduction and then we'll dive into the topic. So my name is Misty Knight. I'm a mindset and business coach for female entrepreneurs. And this challenge that we're doing is called Plan to Crush 2021 and it is all about how to crush your goals next year hi misty good to see you so excited you guys are here okay so when we get into the world of self-development we often hear positive thinking positive thinking positive thinking you just need to think positive and things will happen for you and the problem with that is that it is really just like slapping a band-aid on the wound, but not getting rid of, not healing the wound. So we are slapping the band-aid on it, but it's still there. The negative thoughts are still there. The programming that we've put inside of us over the past 30, 40 years is still there. All of the vows that we've made to ourselves are still there. So all of those vows, the programming and the negative thoughts keep us from getting what we want in life. It creates this, this block for us. So what that looks like is we are often on a roller coaster of emotions. So one day we feel good and the next day we feel bad. One day we truly believe that we can reach that goal and the next day we are just don't believe at all. Like there's no way in heck that's gonna happen. That's not gonna happen for me. I'm doomed, I'm just devastated. We go from you know super motivated to I'm gonna cry in my bed all day or we are really encouraged one day and then really defeated the next day. So it's just a huge roller coaster of emotions for us. And this is where I was just a few months ago. I would start the week out so excited, so motivated, so ready to go. And then by Wednesday, I was just devastated because I hadn't booked a consult or I hadn't signed a client and there's just no way that is, any of this is going to work for me. So it was just up and down and up and down because all of that negative programming was still there. So when we think about like what is a vow? Some people will probably have that question. What is a vow? So a vow is something we've told ourselves that we will never do or that it's always going to be that way. So a, an example for me was, you know, I had vowed to do it all myself. Like no one had ever been there to support me. So I'm just going to woman up and go do it myself. I can do it all. I am powerful. I can do it. That is a vow that prevented me from allowing support to come in. Because when we talk about energy, money is a masculine energy. 
Support is a masculine energy. And we have to have the feminine energy of allowing in support in order to be able to allow that to come in to support us. Another vow that I had made was, you know, people hurt me. People hurt me. So I am going to vow to not let people get close to me, to not let people in. And if I vow to not let people in and not let people cl get close to me, then what that looks like in my business is it looks like I don't give a shit about my clients. It looks like, you know, I don't have love. If I don't have love for people, then I can't show my clients that I actually care about their results. It looks like I'm just a salesperson who's sleazy and trying to make a sale while not really caring about the results that my clients get. So all of those vows, those and many, many more, because I have a lot of stuff in here, um, have were keeping me from allowing in that support and allowing myself to grow in my business. So how do we get rid of all of that junk? This is the fun part. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. So the fun part, how we get rid of all of that junk within us, remove the programming and remove the vows and remove the negative thoughts, negative emotions, is through the rapid manifestation method. So the rapid manifestation method was created by one of my coaches. Her name is Sarah Longoria, and she is just incredible. I love her. But what she did was she took a classic technique called EFT, Emotional Frequency Technique. And Emotional Frequency Technique uses tapping on meridians in the body, which is like an ancient Chinese medicine. We have meridians in the body and our emotions get trapped in those meridians because we stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff instead of allowing ourselves to feel them. And classic EFT, you just tap on the emotions and you say your affirmations. But what she did was she wasn't getting the results that she wanted. She wasn't getting rid of all of the anger within her, of all of the frustration within her. So one day she was super mad at her son, which I can relate to, and she went to the bathroom and instead of tapping and saying her affirmations, she tapped on all of the anger that she was feeling, all of the frustration that she was feeling, and she found that it released the emotion for her super awesome. So she has perfected this technique and has found that it really does help to heal us from any trauma that we've experienced, from our negative emotions, from all sorts of things. It releases those things. So what we're going to do is we are going to tap on our meridians while saying all of the negative stuff that we're thinking. All of the stuff that you would never say to anyone else. All of the stuff that you actually think throughout the day that is making you tired, making you sick, making you frustrated, angry, sad, all of those things. So where are the meridians? The meridians are between the eyebrows and you're going to do this on your right side. On the side of your eye, under your eye, under your nose, on your chin, on your chest, under your arm, and on the top of your head. So when you think about like one of the main things that's going to frustrate you as a business owner is I'm not getting the sales that I want. I am so sick of working so hard and not getting any, any results. Why does everybody else get to have quick results and I'm sitting here struggling? I'm on the struggle bus. Why am I on the struggle bus? I'm so sick of being on the struggle bus. Please, somebody get me off of the struggle bus. I am so sick of this crap, right? You're just saying all of those things that are coming up for you. And you do it every time you have those negative emotions. 
So what are we going to tap on then? We are going to tap on all of the negative that we're feeling until we feel that emotion release. So at some point in your ranting and raving as you're tapping, you're going to feel like it's just kind of left, like you aren't as emotional about it anymore. That is when you can stop. You want to keep going until you feel that release. So what you're going to tap on is all of the negative thoughts that you're having, judgments about others, because often judgments about others are really judgments about ourself as well, or about the vows that we've made. So a lot of times if, if you grow up and you're kind of poor, then you might have judgments like money is evil. Money is the root of all evil. People who have money are evil. People who have money have gotten it in terrible ways, like through dealing drugs or cheating people or lying. So all of those things are things that you can tap on. Facebook is a really great trigger for a lot of people. So you can just scroll through Facebook and the minute you see someone who's posted something that says, oh, I just had a $25,000 month, you can be like, ah, oh, these people, why do they get success and I don't? Why are they successful and I'm not? Why are they making $20,000 a month and I'm not, right? You can go tap on all of that. Facebook is a really good trigger. So your negative thoughts, judgments about others, anything that annoys you is a trigger for you to go tap on it, to release it. So for me, I am a very go, 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 go person. My husband is not, y'all. He is not. He is hard to get out of bed in the morning. He is slow and a lot of times I have a judgment about him that he is just as slow as a sloth. Like he's such a sloth. And so I will go tap on that. You know, why is this frustrating me so much? Why am I getting frustrated by this again? And it can come up over and over and over until I finally release whatever it is in here that I've been holding on to. And you may think that you've cleared it and then a month later it comes up again. Go ahead and tap on it. If you are feeling annoyed, it's a good thing to tap on it. That is a little trigger to you from the universe saying, hey, go clear this. And then also any anger, fears, or frustrations are really great to tap on. So um, I used to be really, really fearful, really fearful. Like I am scared of heights. I was scared of water. I was scared of so many things. And using this process has really helped me to clear all of that fear to then go and do the things that scare me. And so this is a huge tool that you can use for a lot of different things in your life. Um, I feel like the main thing it's helped me with has been the kids. So kids are sent here to trigger us, y'all. It's just plain and simple. If you got kids, go ahead and raise your hand. Our kids are a great trigger for us. And anytime that our kids annoy us, you know, our kids learn from us. And so most of the time, if they're doing something that annoys us, it's something that we do too. And maybe we just don't want to admit it, or maybe it annoys us to see it in them because we know that we do it too, and we wish that we didn't do it. So our kids are a really great trigger for us. And I feel like this has helped me a lot with that because I, just a few months ago, let's say um, even back in January. So even then I would get super angry with the kids, like, fly off the cuff, angry. And I have had such a huge transformation with how I communicate with my kids that it is just incredible. So highly recommend this, even if it's not for your business, just clearing your emotions is gonna be really great for your relationships as well. And if you've come from a past of abuse, um, trauma, then a lot of times as women, 
we stuff our emotions, but if we've been through trauma and abuse, then we stuff them even more because we learn that having emotions is dangerous because that is a trigger for the abuser and then they attack us when we have an emotion. So if that is in your past, this is gonna be even more helpful for you. But how we relate it to our business is if you think about yesterday, we talked about rating your, how confident you are in reaching your goals next year on a scale of one to 10. And then I had you list out like, why? Why do you feel that way? And if you had a lot of negative thoughts on your list yesterday, you know, these are all the reasons why I feel like I can't reach that goal, then those are a great place to start with your tapping. So you wanna think about all of the thoughts or beliefs that can get in the way of you reaching your goal. And then you want to flip those beliefs to support you right? Like we did yesterday, but also tap on those thoughts and those beliefs so that you can start to eliminate them. Eliminating them means we're no longer just slapping the bandaid of the positive thoughts on them. And we really get breakthrough and transformational healing and allowing in all of the support to come in and fill our needs and get everything that we want in life. So that is your homework for the day. Go start tapping and listing out all of those thoughts and beliefs that you think will keep you from getting to that next level where you want to be in 2021. Scrolling through Facebook and tapping on anything that comes up. And if you are, you know, one of these people like me who is on that huge roller coaster and you are so sick of being on that roller coaster, I would love to talk with you about how it is to work with me and how I can support you in reaching your goals next year. So if that's you, go ahead and schedule a call with me. We'll talk about you know what your frustrations are, where you wanna be in 2021, and what it would be like to work together. The link is up in the post, so just click that link and schedule your call today. I love you guys and hope you have a wonderful day.